In thinking through a strategy as an individual or as a group, it helps to split the process into various steps. There are various versions of this. Mine is the six questions. So a good place to start any thinking about strategy is to ask, what is the external environment? What exactly is external will depend on what you are creating a strategy for. If the strategy is for a business, it would include the different segments of the markets in which that business competes. If the strategy is for a function or a department, then the external environment would include the overall strategy for the business that the function supports and what is required to make that strategy a success. We will come back to the difference between business and functional strategy in another video. For the moment, let's assume that this is a strategy for a business. So the second question is, what is the internal situation, including the business's current objectives, its competitive position, its customers, and how well it's serving the needs of those customers and its performance? The third question is, how will this evolve? Our strategy needs to work in the future, not the past. We have to make sure that we avoid the mistakes of the generals who base their strategies on what they learned from fighting the last war. These three questions give us a diagnosis of the situation so that we can now ask our fourth question, what is the primary issue? Making sure that your strategy addresses the primary issue is important because people often disagree on what it is and thus what the options are that need to be considered. For example, if the sales director believes the primary issues which markets to target, that will mean that the main options will be a choice between different markets. But if the production manager believes the primary issue is how to reduce the number of products to lower costs and improve delivery times, then the key options to consider include different ways of reducing the number of products. The final two questions are what are the options to address the primary issue and which of these options is best? The six questions framework describes an ideal way to talk through a strategy, but in reality, discussions about strategy often bounce around from question to question. For example, a discussion of options might lead to a debate about how the market is going to evolve. And that is why I show these questions as cogs. Debating one question often leads to the discussion of another. You can use the framework to make sure that this bouncing around doesn't get too chaotic. One approach is what I call the quick and dirty, where you have a short discussion of each question in turn, recording where more data analysis and debate is required. Or you can use it to plan out a longer process for researching and developing the strategy in more detail. Or you can use it to manage a more freewheeling strategic discussion, reminding everyone of what questions the group should be focusing on and recording answers as you go. Whichever way you use it, the six questions can help you make sure that your strategy is well thought through, fully debated and leads to a logical choice of the best option.